buddy, Lawrence. <laughs> you sure have got it together since last time I saw you. Seth Oliver? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you! Did you move back here or something? No, I was just passing through. I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Then your mom asked me to dinner, and the next thing I know, I'm going to be spending a couple of days here. That's great. Is this your car? Yeah. Oh. Can you drive? Yeah. Well, I haven't in a couple of years. The whole story's kind of complicated. Well, no explanations required. I'll give you a couple of brush-up lessons. First thing tomorrow. How about it? Okay. Hey, Willie. Seth Oliver? Yeah. It's good to see you, man. Well, I hope it's the same for you. Willie, Seth came by to say hello, and he's going to stay a couple of days. And he's going to teach me to drive in that. So thanks for nothing. Well, I hope it's insured. Hey, it's great to see both of you. Buddy, why don't you help me with my bag? Okay. rather a unique attitude for someone your age, Seth. Well, for those who like it, fine, but grass is a pass for me. What about you, Willie? Oh, well, I've always been pretty square. Yeah, I remember. Here you go, Mom. Oh, Here. thanks, buddy. Thank you, Seth. Would you like me coffee? No, thanks. First things first. If Buddy will start clearing, I think I'll take care of the dishes. Oh, no, no, I'll get to that later. No way. Don't worry about it. I'm an expert. I paid for that MG washing dishes in one of the finest hash houses in Boston. Besides, I really want to. In that case, you're on. Great. You start clearing, I'll warrant the dishwasher. Willie? Uh, no thanks, Mom. As a matter of fact, I think I'll go upstairs and do some work, if that's all right. Well, at least it's a little less rude than you have been. That's our company, you know. Yes, I know that. I'm sorry if I've been rude, but uh, I don't like him. He hasn't changed a bit, not since he was 12 years old. I don't know. I seem to remember he was a nasty little boy. Exactly, and for my money, he's still nasty. He's just learned to cover it up a little better. Excuse me. Dishwashing powder? Oh, it's under the sink to the right. Aha! Uh -huh. Look, I'll get these stacked and I'll come in and help you with the rest, okay? I can get the rest. Hey, uh, I think there were a couple of glasses in the living room of the bar, too. Okay. me, Jack all trades. Oh, it's been a long day. Mm. An unexpected house guest doesn't help much either. I know. So it's nice to see Seth again. Yeah. Buddy's really fascinated, huh? What does she mean? Altogether, he's a fox. Oh, well, it's just an expression. No one that Willie would approve of. No. Something must have happened between them when they were younger. I can't for the life of me remember what it was. I don't think it was one thing. The relationship just seemed to fall apart. And Buddy's obvious infatuation is not going to help prepare it, I don't think. Mm. I just got here. No, no, I have to get something out of my briefcase. Could have been my toothpaste. That's not funny. 
Now, I, uh, I picked up some brochures for you. Hawaii. Hawaii? But you didn't want me to go. No, well, I've, I've had a chance to think about it. I think it is a good idea. What? You know, separate vacations. You do? Why? Oh, you know, while the cat's away the most. <laughs> That's not funny. Thank you. And, Mom, you owe me $4.78. But if you pay now, there'll be no interest charge. You're a hard woman, Dizzy Lish. Get it out of the cookie jar. I'll finish, Aunt Kate. Oh, thank you. Mom, the cupboard's bare. Bare? What else did I forget? No, the cookie jar. It's empty. Well, it can't be. I had $50 in there yesterday afternoon. Well, then we have money-hungry money. Buddy. Is something wrong? Yes, I keep money in this canister. I took $50 out yesterday when I went shopping. There was at least $50 left. And it's gone? Yes. Willie, have you been robbing the cookie jar? No. Why? Because there's 50 bucks. Gone bye-bye. Maybe Dad took it. Um, well, this may not be relevant, but yesterday when I finished unpacking, I came down for a glass of milk, and Mrs. Hanley, is that it? Mrs. Hanley, yes. Yeah. Yes, well, when I came into the room, she had that canister. Um, when she saw me coming, well, she she seemed to push it back into place rather abruptly. Mrs. Hanley would never do that. I'm sorry. I should have kept my mouth shut. Yes, you should have. Well, you're being very rank, you know that? Willie, Seth doesn't know anything about Mrs. Hanley. He's just trying to be helpful. Sure. Sure he is. Come on, I see it. I warned you yesterday. Have it your way. No matter how smart you get, you'll never be able to read. Well? Oh, I'm just communing with my friends here. You, uh, jogging? No. Tennis. But there. Everybody's going someplace but me. Well, Buddy's around. Not for long. She and Seth are waxing his car, then they're going to the movies. And uh, then he's taking her out for a hamburger. Mom, I wish you'd tell her not to go. For heaven's sakes, Willie. I'm just not comfortable with him around here. That's news to no one. Enough said? Enough. Have you seen my tennis racket? I can't seem to find it anywhere. Well, it's probably in the spare room closet gathering dust, along with your ice skates. And your surfboard. Okay, okay. So I am not just on the athlete. I do have other charms, though. Sometimes you have other charms. Back to reality. How are you doing? 